I've got some stick in the past for criticising M0A, but I only do it when it's justified. Here's one of his Instagram reels captioned who's been guilty of checking in with ATC like this before. I'm strapping myself in for a radio telephony masterclass. I hope you are too. You know when checking with approach, you should never use words like four, uh, 8,000, four, 9,500, because four, F-O-R, could sound like four, F-O-U-R. So we always want to check in, we want it to sound like this. Afternoon, Fort Myers, Sears, 813 Charlie Golf, 8,100, climbing 9,500. 813 Charlie Golf, Myers, Charlie Golf, number 29998. He is absolutely right. Using ambiguous terms on the radio must be avoided for safe operations, particularly when talking about altitude clearances. Maybe we could extend that to altimeter settings as well. Let's listen to his readback. 13 Charlie Golf, Myers, Charlie Golf, number 29998. In case you missed it, here it is again. 13 Charlie Golf, Myers, Charlie Golf, number 29998. So the readback consisted of half of the altimeter setting and no call sign. That's pretty poor airmanship, especially considering the nature of the video that's being put out there for educational or safety purposes. Having the right altimeter setting and ensuring that you've understood the altimeter setting correctly is important for aircraft separation and terrain avoidance. I would argue it's more important than the odd use of the word for. Here's what the FAA air traffic control document says. State the word altimeter followed by the four digits of the altimeter setting. So an example here. For an altimeter of 29.89 inches of mercury, you should say altimeter 2989. And the lack of the call sign in the readback basically means you might as well have not read it back at all anyway. Come on, Jason.